In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful. Well, in the two, in fact, uh, video calls, we talked about, video files, we talked about uh, voiceless and voiced sounds which appear on page 192. I just continued these uh, pages and I showed you pictures of uh, what we mean by voiced and voiceless sounds. Uh, and actually, I showed you the picture of our, in fact, this part of anatomy, which explained what we mean by voice and voiceless sounds. In the second one, actually, we continue to talk about the difference between uh, robe and robe, etc. These are this, these are two lists of words which are different. Uh, five, uh, four words of four word pairs on the first list, and I suppose how many? One, two, three, four, five, six others in the second list. Okay, for each we said line one is the regular spelling, line two is the phonetics. Line one, the regular spelling, line two, the phonetics. Well, uh. Let us continue and go to something else. So we are done with voice, voiceless sounds. Okay, and there are, there are exercises for you later on to distinguish between and differentiate between voiced and voiceless sounds. Well, I'm just not going to continue. At the end of this list, uh, this second list, which begins with fine and vine and ends in kale and gale. Okay? It is written five lines to the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six lines to the bottom. Okay? I didn't talk about uh, this last paragraph. Okay? So we talked about... Uh, Paragraph 1, paragraph 2, paragraph 3, and paragraph 4 of page uh, 192, but not the last paragraph. Why? Because it is difficult for you to understand it now. I leave these parts away and go, I leave, I put these things aside, these paragraphs aside, as uh, the distinction is about aspiration. Well, we go to somewhere uh, at the end of, yes, somewhere at the end of this page, one page, page 193, and we have got something like nasal and oral sounds. I'm going to continue with these two sounds. You remember... There are two tajweef, two, in fact, uh, as I am right, they say that uh, they call it in Arabic as tajweed ul fam and tajweed ul anf. Tajweed ful fam wa tajweed ul anf. What does it mean? Oh, there is one, in fact, cavity here. There is like long one cavity here, okay? I told you it's like a cave. And it's here, or in your mouth. There's another one. You can see it uh, if I am not, I uh, cannot see my own picture to see if you can see this one. Okay, ending to your nose trails. Uh, and this one going like this, which goes out, is your, in fact, nasal cavity. We are going to talk about sounds that are oral, Sounds that are nasal, sounds that are made with the passage of air, with the passing of air going out through the nose, are said to be nasal. And those that are, in fact, not part of this system and go out through mm, your nose, are said to be oral sounds. So let us put it like this. Ah, it's an oral sound. Well, what happens? The air goes out through the nose. So these sounds are uh, nasal sounds. 
I suppose in phonetics, in Persian, sometimes they call it Ghunna. Ghunna. The sounds that are produced by the uh, by the Tajweeful Anf. Okay? In through the Tajweeful uh, Tajweeful Anf. Back here. Let's go to the next page, page 192, okay? 94, okay, it's page 194, and I'm gonna continue with this page. Well, a very good picture is here on page 194. There is another picture for you on page 190. Let's go to page 190. Okay, you remember this guy? This uh, this picture, I mean, not, not, of course, this is a guy, picture of a girl, not a guy. Uh, and remember, you can see, in fact, the Gladys here as number eight. We talked about Gladys earlier. Well, let's go to number five on this picture. Okay, number five. Okay, and six. Maybe go, let's go to number six, okay? Because we are talking about this area, okay? Number five is the bony part of your uh, tongue, uh, mouth, uh, at the roof of the mouth. We are not going to talk about number five. Let's go to number six. What is number six? As you can read from our, our own book, it's something like this. Uh, like this. You t uh, you take your thing uh, your thumb like this, ah, uh, and go up your with your nail down your nail. This is my nail. The nail, the nail goes down like this. Ah, uh, you touch it there. Of course, uh, we have to. You have to be clean with your hand, and you have in fact. Uh, uh, you have to wash it in order to want uh, to touch that area, okay? Because earlier they said it was dirty, but today they, they say that you're, it's going to kill you. Why? Because if your throat is in fact uh, full of germs like COVID-19, actually it, it will die, maybe me or you, okay? So you, with your clean in fact, uh, thumb, you go like this. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. You find that this is number six, the velar, velum, velum. You can see it. Yes, yes. You can see it here, number velum, and it's number six here, and there is number six here. The sounds are said to be velar, velar. Okay, like this. Well, let's go back to, in fact, that page. Okay, it's, it was page 190, 194, 194, exactly this page. Well, let's go down, down, down. Well, oh, what happened to the whole thing? Tone and intonation, so many pages went down. Okay, is it this one? No, it is not this one. Page 194, 98, 98. Well, I suppose it's 94. Well, look at picture, let's say, uh, figure 5.3. What happens here? What happens here? And for nine, no, number, the one to the right. What happens here? Okay, look at the difference between m to the left and p and p. Okay, for both, for both, for both, the lips are together. What happens? The air must pass through the nasal cavity of the nose. Okay, so what happens? If you actually see to the picture to the right, while the mouth is closed, the air can actually go out 
go out where from the uh, from the passage from the way from the road going up to the nose and from there to go out okay so we say mm, like this what happens here we close our if we close our in fact nose we cannot say mm. why because there is no place for air to go out so let us see like this you have to in fact fill out your in fact mouth like this like this why we do you do not air let air go out of your nose what happens you cannot say it so why because you let air go out through the nose okay to the light i close my nose i can easily say p or b b p. but i cannot say anything like mm, 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 why because you let air go out like this from your nose okay anyway Needless to say, it's so easy. Well, air can go out through the nose, as in mmm, or it cannot go out like b. What happens inside? Well, to the left. To the left, we have m, and the velum is like this. Like this. Okay? The air goes out. But, uh, from this passage that we have which goes to the the nasal cavity and from there it goes out what happens to the right look the passage is closed okay what does it mean the air does not go out of the does not go out of the Nasal cavity. What happens? If I say B, suddenly I look at my, my in fact, uh, fingers and thumb, like this. I open suddenly. B. I open suddenly and let air go out from the mouth. Mouth. Okay? Like this. Mouth. Like this. B. Ba, ba, or p, p, p. Okay, like this. So I can say everything like this. For me, it is the velum is closed. Okay, and for me. The velum is open, letting air going out, go out. So it is said something like this: Figure five point three, position of lips and velum, for m lips together, velum down. Okay, so we say m. Okay, and we say p or b. Lips, lips together, velum up. Okay, it goes up like this. It goes up, up like this. So it does not let air go out. So far, so good. So far, so good. Nasal sounds are like m, which are which the nose is closed. When the nose is open, the mouth is closed. And pub. Well, the mouth suddenly opens while the velum is closed. Okay, like this. So, me is here, which is no uh, oral nasal. 
M is nasal. Pan B R. Pan B R. Oral. Okay. Let us go to other sounds. There are two other sounds, as you can see on the next page, table 5.3. Okay, look. Nasals to the left, orals to the right. Okay? Well, bedeke oral. Peteke oral. Bedeke oral. Peteke oral. Let us put them away. Why? We are going to concentrate, uh, concentrate on nasals. It's easier. The number is smaller. Okay? When we say m, it's a nasal sound. The next one, n, is another nasal sound. And the third one, ng, is another one. Okay. We are done with m, bilabial. Bilabial. Number two and three. Number two and three. Number two is like this. We close, we close the mouth by not letting air go out with the help of the tongue, like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your mouth is open. Your mouth is open. But the air cannot go out. Why? Because the tongue like actually the tongue has actually blockaded the way okay it's closed the road is closed okay by what by the mouth by, by the by the tongue okay the road is closed by the tongue what happens the same mechanism we had the velum is in fact up and the air goes out through the nose so we say mm, n, 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 m, n. What do we do? We have the same thing, letting air go out of the nose like this. Mm, n, out. M and N are easy for both Farsi, as I told you in my earlier recordings, and for Arabs. Well, let us go to the next one. Ng. What is this ng sound? Can I give you one example? Do you think the Quran is a good example there? Everybody. In the Quran we say Min-qabili. Okay? Min-qabili. Do I close my two lips together when I say min gabil? No. Min gabil. What do we do? We close somewhere else. It's not the lips. It's not the lips. Mm, like this. It's a ng sound. Well, what happens to the, the, t the front part of the tongue? Does the front part of the tongue close it? With the alveolar red, like n, no. What happens here in the Okay. We actually close. We actually close somewhere else. It's not the vellum. It's again the vellum. The vellum and the tongue. Can you see it here? No. Let's go to, to, to. Remember where I want? Yes, exactly here. Well, when I say I close number six. So the vellum goes here and the tongue. The back of the tongue and the vellum actually there. The back of the tongue. I cannot easily show it. Well, I can show it with my, like, suppose, suppose this is my, <laughs> this is my uh, tongue. And it goes down. Of course, it has to go out, up. Okay, it's something like this. It goes up, of course. 
to touch the to touch the vellum. The tongue goes up and the vellum goes down. They touch each other. So what happens? The air goes out through the nose. This is the best example that I can, can give you for can give you for for Arabic. Okay, Mingabil. Okay. Exactly like Mingabil, you see something like this. Sing. 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 S I N G. Rang. The telephone rang. Last night the telephone rang. Or my cell phone is ringing. Ringing. Sound. Remember without care. Remember without care. So we say we are ringing. Ringing without care. Some of the recordings that I listened to you included a gear sound. Rang for all of you. If you actually have something like gear at the end. So back to back to well. Can I have it here? In this page? On this page? Well, no, 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 no. Let's go to check other pages as well. Well, actually it's here. Okay, look, look. This one. Well, look at this one. The upper part looks like a N sound. The lower part looks like a G, G sound. What is it? It's one sound. Remember, in your earlier recordings that you said, said, and the exercises, you said ring, rhyme. What should I say? I should say ring. Rhyme. I should not say rhyme. Get. Okay? In English, they don't say something like this. So, so far, so good. I suppose I'm done with uh, na nasal sounds as well. So I stop on page 195 with the exception of something. Let's go to, well, page, page, uh, well, here, well, uh, what page is it? 192, well, this last paragraph of page 92, 192, and the continued ones which appear before orals and nasals. Thank you very much. I, uh, I am done with this week. So, uh, have a good day and enjoy your, in fact, uh, courses in the University of Qom. And I am ha happy to have you here in the university. See you for the next week. If you have got problems, if you have got problems, you are going to, in fact, go to whatsapp page and i will help you with the, the answers thank you very much goodbye